let's take a look at how you can publish your Docker images up into Docker Hub. All right, so in order to follow along with this tutorial, make sure you have Docker Desktop installed and at least have a vague understanding of how Docker works, although we're, we're, you really don't need a ton to follow along with this tutorial. But essentially what we're gonna be doing is building a simple um, a simple container image that echoes out hello world, and we're going to take that and publish that up into Docker Hub. So I have VS Code open. It's not necessary. You could do everything through text and terminal if you want to. I just like to use this since it's a kind of condensed workspace, and I have a, an empty project open. Uh, so the terminal is open on the bottom, and the first thing you want to make sure to do is type in Docker login. Now, I'm logged in already, so it's going to tell me a message saying it's authenticating with my existing credentials. However, if you're not logged in already, it's going to prompt you for your username and password. That is required in order for your machine to authenticate with the Docker Hub service before you can actually publish your container images, okay? So I'm logged in already, and I'm going to create a new file on the left-hand side, and we're going to name this uh, entrypoint.sh, which is going to be the script that's run inside of the container um, when it starts. So it's gonna be a bash image or bash script. So I'm gonna say bin bash, and then we're just gonna echo back hello world and save that. Okay, so if I uh, change the permissions to make this file executable, chmod plus X entry point, and then I run this entry point, we should just get a hello world message on the terminal uh, output, which we do. Okay, so now let's, let's create our Docker file that we're gonna use in order to build the container image. So I'll create a new file called Docker file, and then we're gonna type in from Alpine, which is going to be our base image we're gonna use. We need to install bash to make sure that this can run. So run apk add double hyphen no cache, and then bash. And then we're going to set our working directory to forward slash app. We're gonna copy the entry point.sh file into that into that working directory. And then just for, for good measure, what I like to do is I like to set my file permissions directly within my Docker files to make sure that they're they're set up properly and don't, we run, don't run into, into any executable issues when the container starts. So I'll chmod plus X and then entry point .sh. And then finally we will specify our entry point as entry point uh, forward slash at forward slash entry point .sh, okay? So this is our Docker file here. So now let's build the image. I'm gonna say Docker build period. We're gonna tag this with Brian MMO2. Now this is important. Um, this was something that you you also need from Docker Hub. You're gonna you're gonna need an account to in order to log in. And anytime that you want to publish container images up to Docker file, they need to be prefixed with your username and a forward slash. So my username in Docker Hub is Brian MMO2. And let's name this container image. Hello, Docker Hub. And then we'll name it the, we'll tag it with the latest version, okay? So I'll hit enter, and this is gonna build our container, or our image rather. Okay, so that's run. Now let's uh, go ahead and run the container just to make sure that it works, or run the image through a container. So Docker run Brian MMO2 forward slash hello Docker Docker hub and latest and remember just to reiterate if you're following along with this tutorial on your machine you want to replace the brian mmo2 portion of my specific run command with whatever your docker hub username is and we'll hit enter we get that hello world message so that proves that the container image is built and we're able to run a container based off of um off of our custom our custom image Okay, so now that that's run, it's actually fairly simple in order to publish a Docker uh, Docker image. Once you're logged in, you have it tagged properly. It's just Docker push, and then the name of your image. So Brian MMO2 forward slash hello hyphen Docker hyphen hub latest, and hit enter. So it's going to go through the process of publishing this image up to Docker Hub. Okay, so we can see that we have, it's, it looks like it published okay. I'm actually gonna expand our terminal because we're gonna you take up a little bit more space here. So I'm going to list out all the container images that I currently have tagged on my computer for my Docker Hub username. So I'll do Docker image LS, and then we're gonna grep Brian MMO2 and enter. So I have two of these here. I have a hello world, and I also have a hello Docker Hub, which the hello Docker Hub is the one we just created. You could see it's time stamped at about a minute ago. So I'm gonna Docker image RM, and then we're going to remove these two images. So we'll do 736 for the first one and AF5. And for, for those of you who don't know, 
uh, you can pass in a list of the hash the hash names and you don't even have to auto complete it as long as these are unique so 736 and af5 which i guess technically since we're not listing out all the images they may not be unique but we're going to take a gamble on that right now and hit enter oh yes we're using it on a container so i have these running container let's do docker uh psa and then we'll grab brian mmo2 actually you know what we're gonna cheat double hyphen force should let him get rid of him. Okay, so it, it untagged the images and deleted everything. So now if I run uh, Docker image LS grab Brian MMO2 again, we get no output, which means these images do not exist locally on my computer. However, what I can do is I can still create something based off it. So if I go Docker run and then Brian MMO2 forward slash hello Docker hub. And we'll use the latest version Hit enter. Can see it's unable to find that image locally now since be, since we didn't specify an actual domain um docker is going to assume that it wants to pull it from docker hub or docker.io which it looks like it did and you can see on this line here the hello world message was echoed out to the terminal so we were able to pull this down from docker hub to see to, to run it on our machine locally let's take a moment head up to docker hub and i'll show you where you can actually find these images so inside Docker Hub, I'm logged in. You can see the, the main landing page we see is a list of the published containers we have. I, I have a couple of Hello World containers I was working with a couple of days ago, but then I also have this Hello hyphen Docker Hub, which is the one we just pushed three minutes ago. So if I click on this, we can go inside and see more information about Docker Hub or about this specific image. We can see what operating system it's running, the different tags we have available to us. We can see the command that we can use in order to pull down the, the image to run locally on our machine. Um, so that is essentially how you would publish a Docker image up into Docker Hub. I hope after watching this video, you have a good understanding on how you can publish your own custom Docker images up into Docker Hub. If you've ever worked with Docker Hub or any kind of container registry, do me a favor and let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, you might like my other video on how you can containerize Go applications and embed your Go code inside of a container image. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.